ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world and welcome to another chapter in the series, 5 Ghosts Trapped on Video. Let's start to talk about a great YouTube channel of Phil Cock, an adventurer and ghost hunter. The Haunted Theater Usually, Phil Cock prepares and faces the haunted houses together with his group of researchers, called the Wisconsin Paranormal Society, but that evening of March 2009, he decides to go alone, in his city, at the Alchemist Theater and Bayview, Wisconsin, famous to be particularly infested. This is the theater. I got a camera set up in this corner here. And uh, I'm just gonna sit. We got a furnace running so there's sound, but I'm just gonna sit and uh, listen. And just let the camera crap. just let the camera roll. And uh, initially Phil sits in the audience hall known to be haunted by placing two cameras to see if he can catch anything when this happens. Wow. Nothing going on. The hell? Something just moved. Something just moved behind me. Jeez. Just move behind me. Jeez. Okay. Seats are up in this theater. This one's down. Huh. Visibly shaken by the incident, Phil decides to move to the basement, another place where, according to some witnesses, other paranormal phenomena occurred. This is the, this is where I kept hearing doors open. Phil sets up the cameras in the basement, in front of an entrance known for doors that open and close by themselves. Hello? Anybody in here? Well, besides the people upstairs. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look, see if this prop is still back here again. And we'll take a look. Come on! See if this prop is still back here again. And we'll take a look. Come on! That, that's not cool! <laughs> After hearing noises of footsteps from the upper floor, at that moment without people, he decides to open the door where he heard noises, but back in the corridor, he main entrance opens by itself. So, he decides to investigate inside the room adjacent to the door, but the entity of the place seems to have woken up. Hey. Oh, 
Camera, cameras. Out, out, out. Ah. Camera, cameras. Out, out, out. What do you think of this video? Is there really an entity in that place, or is it an elaboration engineered by Phil? Let me know in the comments below. The ghost of the airport. Browsing the Twitter social network, I discovered a video posted by the user Javier Jules, really interesting. We are in Bogota, Colombia, in full quarantine period for COVID-19, in mid-April 2020, and a user is in the El Dorado airport. A guy, walks all alone to the airport, when suddenly he hears loud noises, coming from the public bathroom. Bueno, estoy nuevamente aquí, en la puerta del baño. No hay nadie acá. Ay, no hay nadie. Tampoco hay nadie. No hay nadie allá. Dios mío. Bueno, voy para adentro. La sangre de Cristo me cura. Hola, hola. Hola. Hola, hola. ¿Estás acá? ¿Dónde estás? Se prenden las luces. ¿Estás jugando con la llave? ¿Ah? ¿Estás jugando con la llave? ¿Ah? Necesito otra prueba. Necesito otra prueba. ¡Ay, marica! <risa> This video particularly aroused my curiosity because it is extremely difficult to cheat by operating the automatic taps without activating the sensors for the waterfall. Same thing for the hand dryers. Do you know a way to do it? Let me know in the comments. The ghosts who like to work. In the city of Manchester, located in Liverpool Road, there is a large complex of financial and public relations companies. Its name is Castlefield House. On November 1st, 2012, in the middle of the night, the security cameras of this building, film something really strange. Let's take a look together.
Wow! You know, there are really singular cases, others that leave you thinking a lot, this is one of them for me, but I leave it to you to decide. Anomalies within the blockbuster. The next video, features footage from a security camera, from a film rental and sales store in Mexico. The video, was posted around 2007 on the internet. Someone on the net, claims that it is the shop, that was located in Tampico at the Comercial Mexicana on Avenida, now permanently closed. Let's play the video. We are late in the summer evening, it is now dark, the employee is about to close the shop, while he arranges the goods on the shelves, the trolley seems to move by itself. Initially, the clerk seems to ignore it, the weight of the DVDs may have moved the trolley. So, he continues to arrange the goods, but when he changes lanes, a newly arranged DVD, falls behind him. The video appears to be genuine, especially in the last part, where the visibly frightened salesman decides to escape from the store. And you? What do you think of it? Could it be an elaborate staging of the store to advertise itself? Or, are we witnessing paranormal phenomena captured by a camera? The Ghosts of Carmel, Maine There is a fair amount of evidence, about ghosts called shadow people, or black shadows of the dead who belong to a specific place, and manifest themselves with paranormal phenomena. This is the case we will talk about in the next video, which hit the news thanks to the YouTube channel, The Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. The protagonist, Kent Burrs, has recently moved to his new home in Carmel, Maine, a municipality in the United States of America, located in the state of Maine, in Penobscot County. From the early days, Ken witnesses paranormal phenomena, and decides to investigate with his video camera. Wow, when it all started! In this video testimony, Ken explains what are the causes that prompted him to investigate. He says that different clothes flew from the dresser to the bed, or the time he was watching TV right at that point, and next to him he felt a weight sitting on the sofa, or the numerous times his name was spoken by strange voices. Another thing that's going on non-stop is they say my name. I mean constantly they're saying my name. Wouldn't surprise me a bit if they don't say my name right now. We're gonna do a complete walkthrough. Hope you guys say something or do something. Oh my god! No! Oh!
Here, we see the strange shadow of a woman sitting on the side of the bed. This house has a history that dates back to the 1890s. This is just one of the many videos Ken captured during his investigations. You can find the rest of his videos on his channel, The Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. We have reached the end of this video folks. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and press the bell to receive notifications. That's it for now. Good night.